This comes only weeks after Yellow Springs became the first community in America to devote more than half their annual budget to the support of environmental issues. Damn, Why is where is it? Extraordinary Midwestern village trying to set an example for the nation? Our very own Doors open, Dad. You sure have been watching a lot of news the last couple of days. I like to keep informed. Between TV and radio, you're going to know more about Dallas than the police department. You seem a bit jumpy. Is uh, anything bothering you? Well, hey, I, if I seem like I'm a little overexcited, it's just because I'm really into my work at Westar. Oh, look. Your work at Westar is just great. Better than I ever dreamed. Your rehab counselor came by the other day. He thinks you quit too soon, and he's worried about you. <laughs> Come on. You know what those guys are like. They hate to let go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe so. But if you don't want to talk to him, I'd sure like it if you'd talk to me. You don't need a hassle, Dad. Oh, I, I don't mind. When I think of all the years that we didn't communicate, and now we have a chance, finally, to start fresh. Talk to me, Tommy. Really make me a part of your life. Makes me feel good, Dad. Real good. But hey, what can I say, huh? I'm trying so damn hard not to cause you any more trouble. I mean, my goal is to make all your troubles disappear. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. Now let's go to Dave with the weather. Dave? Tropical storm Debbie continued to batter the Gulf today, sending hundreds of ships back to port and causing widespread damage to...